Hi everyone and welcome back to another unboxing because that's arguably what I do best. Um, today I wanted to share with you a pretty random game. It's a game that came out earlier this year so this isn't a new release per se. Um, it is Wanted Dead um, and this is the collector's edition of course um, what would an unboxing be without a little bit of limited or collector's flair? Now this game didn't release to the best of reviews. It wasn't particularly well received um, That's why I didn't buy it straight away. So this one I skipped at the time However, as the months have rolled on it would seem that there has been a bit of a struggle to uh, shall we say lift uh, the excess stock uh, therefore, I was able to acquire this for £34, brand new, as you can see. It's still in its shrink wrap. Um, so I picked this up in the sale, regardless of how it reviewed, in the hopes that, you know, I might just find an ounce of enjoyment out of it, regardless. So, enough of my babble. Let's take this plastic off and have a look at what's inside. Okay, so the box itself pretty standard but you know decent enough it's just a standard cardboard box nothing too fancy um, that all this white text here has got a um, like a glossy you can feel the texture but you should be able to see well, you might not be able to actually ooh, a little bit of light reflection coming off it there so this is all matte and this is like glossy but other than that there's nothing to write home about all the back box stuff is what you would normally find on the back of the game case so we'll see if that's repeated inside so it's pretty jam-packed on the inside so there's no surplus space so it would appear that we have got your pretty run-of-the-mill collector's edition stuff we've got a nice hard can you hear that a very nice um, tough and durable design works which is a fancy word for art book <laughs> which I can only assume has like concept art so let's have a little peek there we go so we've got some character design here I must admit I do think the the playable character I'm not sure what her name is uh, but I do think she looks pretty cool you know they've given some thought as to color palette and you know if it's you know what tattoos to give her and things like that so that's pretty cool and then we also have some environmental concept um, I, I prefer environmental stuff usually there we go so we've got some bleak looking areas too it doesn't say how many pages there are but if I had to guess I'd say maybe about 60 I don't know I, I'll, I'll put it in the description box so of course the usual disclaimer here always check the description box I know that's a thing of the past for a lot of people but I will always put as much information as I can regarding the contents in the description box including where I purchased it from and what I paid for it. Then there is a standard copy of the game. Now I actually chose to purchase, purchase? I chose to purchase this on the PlayStation 4 because it does come with the PS5 upgrade. Um, so I just figured it, it, it's kind of like getting two games for one. You know if I'm going to get a bad game on sale I might as well you know take it to the max I guess and get all I can for it. Um, the back of the plastic box is pretty much the same as the back of this so I'm not really certain why they didn't just you know put some cool artwork on the back or something but oh they're different barcodes look at that um, so that'll be why I guess now on to Ooh, there's actually quite a bit going on here. So we have a steel book. Oh, and there's loose bits and pieces inside it. So I'll, I'll just move that aside for a minute. But I won't lie, I do like this steel book. It's not overly ornate. You know, it's not um, intricate in its design or anything like that. But I like this shade of pink. I like these bullet holes. Um, they look textured and they are textured. So they kind of look um, three dimensional. Um, or they look like the case has really been shot but where the bullet holes are they've made it shiny again I'll try and see if you can see that yeah maybe um, so again this is matte and then this is like glossy 
And then on this side we have a whole heap of stuff that I can't read, but let me zoom, zoom, let me hold this closer so you can see it. Now that I have a, well, I, now that I have access to a fancier camera, you can see that better. So I really like this sword and rose and wing thing. It's very almost um, like Rome, uh, what's the word, like not Roman, but um, like Eastern European Catholic kind of weirdness. And then we've got this um, kind of like a, I don't know whether or not it's a made up language or whether it is just a, an existing language and they've done it in a, in a certain art style that looks kind of ancient. And then down here we've got a whole heap of other like Latin and stuff and it's a real mixed bag of what we've got going on here and I don't know what to expect. Now on the inside of the box itself, um, let me take out the contents so you can see the back. So I don't really know what that is, it's just, it looks as though it's just a it's just an environment, but down here we have someone sneaking, waiting and lurking. So I'll try and keep that still, sorry, so you can get a good glimpse of it. But, lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in a very long time, this steelbook is not surplus to requirement. It holds the OST. <laughs> so we have an original soundtrack on disc. Yes, thank you. Um, I'm not a vinyl head and nor am I a great lover of the whole digital uh, thing when it comes to music because it's like I need to be able to have access to it in case it goes poof one day. Yeah, you get me? And inside the case also, we actually had a track listing. So usually what I like to try and do is put some music in from the soundtracks in these videos. So you should be listening to something right now. And I will also put the track listing in the description in case you're trying to find it on various platforms or if you're trying to track it down separately so you know how it compares to this one. Other things inside the box include these postcards. There are three in total. So we have one where it looks like some sort of central city area, like a central park type place, and it's being coveted by a helicopter. We then have uh, what looks like some, it looks like a, ooh, an, a temple, an Asian temple of some description. I won't try and guess which nation at the risk of being insensitive. And I'm not sure whether or not you can tell. So let me zoom it in, or oh, I'll hold it closer, sorry. So you can see the, um, uh, like the remains of the temple and then we've got a massive mecca in front of it yeah and I mean mecca as in mechanoid not mecca as in the other temple of worship that would be very confusing and then we have like a laboratory or some sort of engineer workshop I think it's more of a workshop than it is a lab so there we go and that is also in the concept art booklet so I think all of these are probably inside the concept book as well and then finally, inside the steelbook, we had this, um, I think it's a magnet. And I'm not sure whether or not this is like the crest or emblem for the unit in which our main character plays. I guess it is, it's the zombie unit uh, for the Manu Militari. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Oh, I'm not going to get used to this. Look how crisp that is. I hope you can all read that clearly. In fact, I'm going to take it out of the plastic just to identify whether or not it's a badge or a magnet or what. I think... I think it's a sticky back pin. Like, I think this comes off. I don't know. Have I got anything metallic, magnetic here? No, I don't know. I don't know if this is just something I can stick on. I think I can peel this off and stick it to something, but I'm not going to try. I'm not going to risk it. I think I'll just leave it safe and sound inside its case for now. 
So there we go. That was everything inside the Wanted Dead Collector's Edition. We had your run-of-the-mill art book and your run-of-the-mill steel book with your run-of-the-mill soundtrack, uh, postcards and a pin badge. And I make that sound really insulting. And <laughs> I suppose it's just gotten to a point now where that is the standard. That is the sorts of things that you would typically find in these collector's editions. Nothing really stands out in terms of oh this is unique to the game you know the pin badges might be something unique but it's not like an item or a a piece of memorabilia from the game that can't be replicated in any other fashion if that makes sense however i think the only reason i'm being critical is because initially this would have been like 80 pounds or something um which i suppose is still pretty good value for money when you consider that the base game itself uh would have been like 60 maybe 70 i don't know Pric pricing is all over the place with physical games now um but to say that i got all of that for 34 quid i'm not complaining <laughs> i'm i'm genuinely not complaining so i'm i'm very happy with the steelbook as i mentioned earlier um but yeah whether or not the game is going to be met if, whether or not my feelings for the game will be met matched by how I feel about its presentation yet to be seen yet to be determined we may ne we may never find out so sorry but yeah that's everything uh, I have to show you today as always if you have comments or questions please feel free to leave them in the comments section um, I try and keep on top of them as much as I can and always double check the description box as I mentioned earlier most of the information regarding the products um, as well as how I make my videos are usually there but yeah that should that's pretty much covers everything I think of course if you subscribe you should in some shape or form know when I make another one of these types of videos and hopefully you enjoyed this one enough to be inclined to return once again <laughs> so until then thank you for watching and bye